Waveguide synthesis is one of the trickiest synthesis techniques to conceptualize. It's a form of physical modeling synthesis that stems from these two guys called Carplus and Strong. They came up with a way to emulate the sound of a plucked string by feeding a noise burst through a delay line with a bunch of feedback. They named the technique after themselves, so it's very easy to remember their names, but not so easy to remember the name of the technique. The car plus strong method is from back in the 80s and nowadays we see it as a super simple version of waveguide synthesis. A digital waveguide is basically a mathematical model that emulates the way that sound waves travel. For example, if something travels down a pipe, in real life, that pipe guides the sound. So it's modeling the way that sound changes over time based on a certain material. Carplus and Strong started by feeding a noise burst into their feedback loop, but since then people have started making much more complex delay lines and feeding things other than noise through the waveguide. You're always asking me for audio examples, so here we go. I'm using Artifon's preset creator here, which features an available waveguide with two modes string and pipe. So I've pulled up this vocal sample that I'm triggering with my Orbit 2. When I start to mix in the waveguide, you can hear how my voice is mixed with what sounds like a version of it that's kind of traveling through a pipe. And when I turn it to string mode, you can hear kind of the same thing. It feels like a string is being triggered by the amplitude and pitch envelope of my voice. <laughs> 